Bullet Train is directed by David Leach and stars Brad Pitt, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Brian Tyree Henry, Joey King, and a lot of other people. And the film's about five assassins on a fast-moving bullet train who find out their missions have something in common. David Leach, as most of you probably know, is a longtime stuntman who's since become a very good filmmaker, and he's making some of the best action entertainment in the business. And the stunt teams that he works with are also some of the best in the business. I thought Bullet Train was a total fucking blast. Brad Pitt has been in constant good movies for like my whole life. He's just such a likable presence in everything and he's always really good and he's great once again in Bullet Train. The idea of a protagonist who's an assassin but has essentially become a pacifist who wants to work things out peacefully is hilarious and it's a great contradiction to what he has to do for a living. The fact that he hasn't quit yet is also very funny. But he's also a little bit confused about what kind of luck he has. He thinks he has terrible luck, but he gets out of a lot of things that would have killed most people. The film has a lot of quick-witted banter and dialogue and sometimes the story jumps back and forth, especially during the introduction where it's like, hey, 26 hours ago this thing happened and here's why you should care. 15 minutes ago this happened and here's why you should care. And it can be a little hard to follow initially, but as soon as all of the characters and storylines are established, the movie just takes off and I found it to be a pretty breathless thrill ride for the entire runtime. I'm kind of surprised by the way the film critics have responded to this movie. Basically any time a film has very witty dialogue that's fast paced and sometimes so quick that you miss it, as well as non-linear storytelling, People just say you're ripping off Tarantino. Guy Ritchie hears this shit all the fucking time. When I watched this movie, I never thought of Tarantino once. I love Quentin Tarantino and his movies, but he uh, he doesn't own quick-witted dialogue, and he certainly did not invent nonlinear storytelling, and I don't understand why it's such a constant point for critics to harp on movies that have those things and say that it's a negative because you're just copying off of something or you're being derivative, and I don't really buy it. It doesn't make any sense to me. I thought this movie was fucking awesome. The character work is also really strong, especially with Tangerine and Lemon, the characters played by Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry. They have a very storied past. They're very close. And when they're involved in life or death situations, they joke a lot, but when it has to get serious, the film is actually rather touching. And the legendary Hiroyuki Sonata is in the film, and he does in fact kill some people with a sword. What more could you ask for? This movie is based off of a book, but similar to Top Gun Maverick, even though that's a big sequel to an IP, the success of that film feels like a win for cinema. It feels like a win for original filmmaking, even though technically, it's a sequel, and Bullet Train is technically based off of a book. It's not a brand new original thing that has never existed in any media or art form before. When I go to a movie that's part of a massive franchise, I assume that it probably wasn't that hard to get the film greenlit. When I go to a movie like Bullet Train, it just feels more handcrafted to me. It's very difficult to explain, and it's probably just a very specific subjective bias that I have, but I love the action scenes and how hands-on all of the actors were. The stunts are fantastic, just like in all of David Leach's films. If you haven't seen Bullet Train yet, I would highly recommend it. I think it's a great time at the theaters and I really enjoyed myself. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. I also wanna give you a really fun update. You may have seen a few weeks back on Twitter, I mentioned that this August is the 20th anniversary of the film Signs and obviously that film has had a major impact on me and so i decided that i was going to go to pennsylvania and make a video at the filming locations and i had an amazing time the video is going to be up in a few days i'm really excited to share that with you guys and i hope you guys have a good time watching it thanks so much as always for watching guys and if you like this you can click right here and get stuckmanized